Hey, let's do another turnaround. Um, I don't think about turnarounds quite enough, so I really like that question. The uh, One of my stock kind of licks would be something like, ah. All right, that's, I'm gonna do it again. So the chord, that's an E augmented. You got a root, major third, you raise the fifth. That's what makes it augmented. Sharp fifth, goes up a half step, and then another root. So that's E, G sharp, C, and E. And it looks kind of like a C chord here, except you just lay your index finger flat on the second and third strings. And so I'm just trying to hit the four middle strings. So the lick, I'm in A, you know. Oops. Ah, so the lick. <laughs> That's your standard uh, exercise, approach, lick thing. Bend, 5-5, five, five, that's a 7 on the 3rd string, 5-5, five, five, then your good old, so these are just reflexes to me, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1 triplet, 2 triplet, G, E, A. That's an eight, five, five. So seven, five, five, eight, five, five. Then the kind of freaky bend, that's a C going up to a D. Kind of a, a bold statement. So again. That's C going up to a D. Let it down to C, A. And then, that's pretty, kind of stolen from Funk 49, isn't it? That's G. Pre-bend the D and let it down. C, A. All right, so that last little chunk. And then that. That's your good old D, D sharp, E, five, six, seven. And then your ring finger's in the right place to uh, build that uh, E augmented. All right, let's do, let's bring in the metronome. I'll try to see if I can play on time. Uh, 65. I switched it to a dominant seven versus an augmented. Not a bad call, it just kind of slipped out, which I appreciate that ability to uh, make endless mistakes that almost sound okay. <laughs> That's improvising. I'm going to take the tempo down to 49. Same thing. Okay, so I did something a little different there. Um... I put like a one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Really accented the one of those triplets. Ba 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 ba. All right, let's just try it with a pick. 
Oh, I'm going to go to 78. So it does sound interesting to try different tempos. So if you've got a metronome, hopefully um, you're getting kind of, you're starting to get used to working with it and you know you can try different tempos and it really feels different let's just take it up to 91 wow a little more energy huh not so sleepy okay well now I'm getting a little uncomfortable so let's go to 108 wow Okay, <laughs> you know, it's a mediocre, it's, I'm not saying it's the greatest thing ever, but a lot of times you just need to play the right thing that fits and it doesn't have to be like Olympic level performance. I wish I could. I wish I was Ingve Malmsteen and Richie Blackmore and uh, Eric Clapton and Jeff Beck and Scotty Moore and Link Ray all rolled into one, but I got to be me and just do what I can do. And, um, you know, I'm still working, so kind of gonna, looking forward to a real busy year of gigs. So somehow they let me uh, play on stages still. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks again for the good question about turnarounds. I'm sure I can think of some others. So uh, this channel is really fun for me because it makes me think and try to, to present an idea with, uh, with using words. <laughs> words are hard. But uh, it makes me think about it. And so I appreciate everybody for uh, stopping by. If you could uh, subscribe, that'd be cool. All right, I got students coming, so uh, I'm going to prepare for that. But let's get this posted and keep turning around your turnarounds. See ya.